Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, there has been a little announcement, or maybe not little, but this is a pretty big announcement for the, I guess, mainly for us GPU miners, that they are going to essentially push back or delay uh, the difficulty bomb. And they're going to bring it back down to, I think, 14 seconds. And right now it's like, what, 14.75, hitting up 15 seconds pretty soon. So... Yeah, that's going to help, I guess, in terms of all everyone that cares about profitability, potentially, or even the yields, right? The yields for Ethereum will then uh, go up for essentially everyone that is mining right now. But anyways, guys, yeah, there is a blog post here that Tim Bako has posted here, uh, the Gray Glacier Upgrade Announcement. So there's a blog post here that I want to go through. So before we do that, guys, this video is sponsored by NerdGears.com. If you guys are interested in graphics cards, they actually have a flash sale starting right now for a whole week all right so gpus uh, they have listed on their site have come down all right so if you guys are interested link down below and as well nerdgears.com also sells a bunch of other hardwares as well such as risers splitters and a mining rig starter kit motherboard here which is really cool with the cpu and ram except crypto and also paypal as well for anyone that is interested all right guys let's go ahead and read what the gray glacier upgrade announcement is okay posted on june 16th 2022 the ethereum network will be undergoing a scheduled network upgrade at block 15 million 50 000, which is expected to occur on wednesday june 29th 2022 so as of recording that is going to be about less than maybe a week and a half or so away from now the exact date is subject to change due to variable block times and time zones. Please upgrade your node before Monday, June 27th, 2022 to account for the uh, variable block times. What is Gray Glacier? The Gray Glacier network upgrade uh, changes the parameters of the Ice Age difficulty bomb, pushing it back by 700,000 blocks or roughly 100 days. Uh, this has also been done in the Byzantium, Constantinople, Murray Glacier, London, and Aero Glacier network upgrades. Uh, no other changes are introduced as part of the Gray Glacier. Okay, so just to show you guys the previous times of when the difficulty bomb was notoriously felt on the network. Here was, I believe, Byzantium, Constantinople, uh, Gray, uh, Murray Glacier, and I think a few other ones here over here and here. All right, so that's when the block times are going up and up and up, as you guys can see. And also, it affected the the yields or just the, the daily block reward uh, for the whole network, right? For all the miners that were, uh, you know, yielding the Ethereum. We were probably noticing the profitability going down as well. And here we are today. We are noticing going down as well. But, I mean, that goes along with <laughs> the, whole, the whole crypto market has been going down as well in terms of uh, the prices. So that, you know, all of that together is what, uh, you know, the equilibrium of the, uh, uh, the, for people, for us, that we go to what to mine and see what the profitability is. Uh, for those that care about it anyway with robston now transitioned to proof of stake the difficulty bomb only affects the ethereum mainnet this means gray glacier will not be deployed on any testnet client versions in order to be compatible with the gray glacier upgrade node operators will need to update their client versions so that they run uh, to one of the ones listed below all right so all the ones basu aragon go ethereum geth nethermine all right people have to download these if you're node operators and such okay uh, next part here, upgrade specific specification and EIPs. The full specification for the upgrade can be found in the execution specs repository under gray-glacier.md. And uh, the single EIP is included in the upgrade, EIP 5133, uh, delaying the difficulty bomb to mid-September 2022. So let's just open up this real quick. So this, I remember reading like maybe like a week ago, it used to be August. And so I think they literally just changed it now to September. Okay, it was August. Now they've uh, delayed it for, I guess, another 30 days or so to September. All right, so going down here, uh, as an Ethereum user on or Ether holder, is there anything I need to do? If you use an exchange or web wallet service or mobile wallet service or hardware wallet, you do not need to do anything unless you are informed to take additional steps by your exchange or wallet service. As a node operator or miner, what do I need to do? Download the latest version of your Ethereum client as listed in the table above. Uh, what happens if I am a miner or node operator and I do not participate in the upgrade? If you're using an Ethereum client that is not updated to the latest version listed above, your client will sync with the pre fork blockchain once the upgrade occurs. Uh, you will be stuck on the incompatible chain following the old rules and you will be unable to 
send ether or operate on the post upgrade ethereum network ah okay uh what is the network upgrade in ethereum land uh, the network upgrade is a change of underlying ethereum protocol creating the new rules for the improve of the system uh, the decentralized nature of the blockchain systems makes a network upgrade more difficult uh, network upgrades in the blockchain require cooperation and communication within the community as well as the developers of various ethereum clients in order to transition to go smoothly all right so going along here what happens during the network upgrade after the community comes to an agreement concerning which changes should be included in the upgrade changes to the protocol are written into the various ethereum clients such as basu aragon uh, geth and nethermind uh, the protocol changes are activated at a specific block number any nodes that have not been upgraded to the new rule set will be abandoned on the old chain where previous rules continue to exist i mean that makes sense okay last part here guys why gray glacier while we generally use ethereum conference city names for execution layer network upgrades uh, upgrades that only delay um difficulty bomb ice age use glacier names instead a uh, gray glacier was chosen because it literally merges into another glacier just like how ethereum's ex execution layer will soon be merged with the beacon chain so wow uh that's that's pretty funny okay so guys you understand what this gray glacier upgrade announcement is okay they're just this is mainly for to combat the uh, the block times because it's 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 making the network slower and slower and slower all right just to uh, just to reiterate that okay block times right now are ho hovering around 14.7 uh, i believe and i believe that this is uh, eip 5133 is going to bring it back down to i believe uh, i think i last time i read it would be another what 7.7 7 or something so bring about back down to about 14 seconds uh so i guess what, june 29th around there we will see how this gray glacier will affect uh the network in terms of the block time so i will update you guys on that in about a week and a half when that time comes and we'll see how much of uh how much of the timing the times for the block times have gone down all right that's that's as simple as that and so what i'm expecting okay minus just when without even thinking about the price of ethereum that once the block times go back down then that means the ethereum network uh, in terms of the rewards are then going to go back up to what it was when it was like 14 seconds or 13.5 seconds or something so that means in theory right and with the you know with the ethereum network hash rate going down right now according to etherscan.io is about 990 terahash that's uh that's it's definitely been coming down since 1.12 petahash i believe all right and now it's like 990 terahash all right so it has been coming down but anyways you know just forgetting about the price then i'm thinking that you know then we'll see more yields for those that are mining they're going to see a little bit more ethereum theoretically all right so that is what i'll be hopefully documenting for you all when that time comes okay guys so that's that's basically it that's all i want to talk about actually no one more thing i want to end off for anyone that's still here the merge technically there was no confirmed date of when the merge was going to happen and you know some people have specified or not specified is that you know this difficulty bomb or ice age is supposed to give pressure to the developers to essentially put out the updates right and for this case it would be the merge and whether or not that actually helps or not the devs push to get this out i my prediction in all this and having that the merge is going to happen that they're predicting around september according to what uh tim bako says here push back to difficult on hopefully for the last time ever and uh yeah, uh, if that happens in mid-September or something, right, that would be around this time. Then if they don't, right, if some, if something, if, so, if an issue, for instance, comes up and uh, they have to delay the merge or, sorry, it was never delayed, but they will confirm that they will not implement the merge in September. And so maybe November or December. But uh, I heard that, you know, doing it during the Christmas times or holidays seasons, like December is a bad idea because a lot of people are going to be on holidays and such. So they don't want to have, they don't want to be bothered. So if anything, then it would be then in 2023, you know, Q1, Q2, who knows? We're, we're really not sure. But if you guys made it to the end of this video, I actually have been, I have been sent a couple things from a few 
people that are huge farmers in the space and have big ties to like AMD blockchain division and uh, some other things around in the space. I have been, this is just, I, I haven't been able to confirm this or not, but I have been hearing that even the AMD blockchain division says, don't take my word for it here, is that they think that the, the merge or from proof of work to proof of stake for, for Ethereum will not happen until 2025. That's what the AMD blockchain division has apparently said. All right, and so there's a lot of money still invested into Ethereum mining, and there's a lot of big players in the mining space in the, that got into the mining space, and I believe some people that are invested in Consensus or some other projects, you know, for developers that have invested tons of money into Ethereum mining and its hardware. And if you look on AMD.com right now for their blockchain technology and their there, I'm just right on their website right now, and they're explaining all this stuff. There's a lot of companies that have invested, I'm sure, millions upon millions, if not billions of dollars on this hardware infrastructure. And you can see here all the different kinds of server cases. I have actually never seen this page before on AMD.com, and it just blows my mind. There's like tons of different mining configurations, uh, servers, all this kind of stuff I've never even heard of. I see some uh, Octominer stuff here, Rocket Chain, look at this. I've heard of Tech, but look at this, guys. Like, the amount of different hardware that's out there blows my mind, and I have never seen this Comino N1 before. That's pretty cool. Elio VP, look at this. So, you know, there's been some rumblings. There's been some things I've been hearing. Whether or not it's true or not that, you know, these big companies believe that the Ethereum merge won't happen until 2025, I have no idea. I don't know if Tim Bako or anyone else is kind of like, if there's some sort of like conspiracizing going on or some sort of, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, I'm just pulling this stuff out of my head here. Like, you know, if these huge companies and the huge people in the space are heavily invested in mining and, you know, have some certain ties with the developers or anything like that, are they just playing with us? Like re residential miners, are they just playing with us regular Joes that are not into the the heavily, you know, huge industrial commercial miners that are that have their hands in the background and with what's going on with Ethereum in the background, developers, whatever is going on, we have no idea, right? We don't really hear this much, but I have been sent some things that it kind of like my mind is just like, okay, if potentially the AMD blockchain division says that the merge won't happen until 2025, what's all this news regarding you know, Tim Bako and all these guys pushing for the merge and the testing and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, I want you guys to let me know what you think. Don't take my word for it. This is just stuff that I've been hearing about. If it's true or not, then sure, we're Ethereum mining for the next two years still, 20, till 2025. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. But, you know, who knows? We really don't know. All right, my friends, that's it for this video. This video is not wishful thinking or hopium or copium, whatever your FUD, I don't know, whatever you guys want to call it. That's just stuff that I've been hearing, guys. So don't take my word for it. All right, peace out, guys. Peace out.